Hello everyone. Welcome to the NPTEL course on Remote Sensing and GIS for Rural Development. This is week 11, lecture 4. In this week's series, we have been looking at the concept of synergized mapping for creating multiple data sources with remote sensing data for an updated rural data management. In the last lecture, we have looked at using OSM data and remote sensing data on GIS platform, which is QGIS, for rural infrastructure mapping, especially schools. In today's lecture, we will start with hospitals and also try to map some more aspects of hospitals, which are road connectivity and other aspects. So we'll go through the same steps. We will uh, extract by name, extract by boundary, which we did in the last time. Uh, since it, it is going to be um, hospitals, it will be much lesser than uh, the uh, current uh, setting. So I will use a smaller state uh, for, for an example. Okay, We'll select the state and make a, a layer out of it. Um, we have yet to do the cropping, but uh, I can quickly show the cropping along with hospitals or roads. Uh, and then we can also search by a village name, as I said, um, Loni village, uh, for example. So then we have looked at how to check in Google Earth Pro. Uh, and then, um, as I indicated, there's a lot of need of internet. So without uh, further ado, uh, I am going to do the hospitals this today uh, thing in healthcare. Uh, so let me share the screen for uh, your uh, QGIS. Okay. So we can remove these from the previous exercise because Richie, uh, let's keep Richie in, but we can remove the um, schools database and the amenities database. Let's remove them for now. Okay. And then keep the states. Zoom out. Okay. We have the six. Um, and as I said, they keep on updating, right? So uh, for now, today we're going to look at the um, hospitals. Uh, and as I said, we could uh, pick uh, Chhattisgarh, uh, which is a smaller state, to quickly download the data and use it. Um, I've, I've using an older map so that we have long time series. For example, Andhra Telangana was already divided now, uh, but we'll be using this map because for the long time series. Um, Telangana uh, was not there uh, a couple of years ago, so we'll use this data set so that we can have all of Andhra together. Then we can differentiate it on a new uh, shape file. Okay, so let's uh, start with uh, identification of schools uh, as needed. We'll go to the vector, QSM, click on the QSM toolbar, let it populate. Um, we can say uh, Chhattisgarh or we'll, we'll select the layer first. So just let's minimize it and then quickly select this Chhattisgarh uh, for us. Okay. So for some reason it is uh, deselecting all the layers and then let's uh, collect Chhattisgarh. Uh, because initially the districts was uh, selected. Now Chhattisgarh is selected. Uh, what we can do is keep it selected. We don't need to make a shape file. We will do that um, in the QGIS uh, platform itself. Uh, so now I'm let me share the full screen so that you will see my full pointer of the office. This is the attribute table for the districts. I'm going to close it. Uh, so you can see that in the uh, attribute table of uh, the states, uh, Chhattisgarh has been selected. Uh, now we will go back to vector QSM. Okay, so now we see it. We will not be using the presets because presets have been uh, kind of not capturing the entire um, aspect. So let us say amenity first because all amenities can come. 
and I'm going to take hospitals. If you just start clicking, it will come or I would normally good to read all the list so that we know what data is available. Uh, for example, in rural development, we need to know how, how about the animal uh, boarding, breeding centers, shelters, uh, banks, uh, rural banks are very important for rural development. You can map it. And I would say this is the most comprehensive data set available because it's coming from down up, not bottom down. Uh, it comes from down up. Child care you don't find in, in um, rural regions, but you can find in urban regions. Uh, then you have colleges, um, driving schools, uh, internet cafes, um, uh, nursing homes, parking. I'm just reading out some things which could be uh, important for rural place of worship, uh, photo booth, uh, and then uh, recycling, um, hospitals. We want youth centers. So let's go to hospitals. And let's see if we have healthcare also. EHI, so it's, it's arranged in, um, yeah, there you are. So hospital is there, so we've clicked hospital, right? So let's add one more layer and say if healthcare is the amenity, health, there's no healthcare, but we can see some other uh, themes. What other themes could be there? We could have, yes, we could have government, right? Healthcare comes up. And add. And then we can also have government hospitals. There's no hospitals. There's no rural. Okay. So it keeps on updating. So it's always good to check what else we have. Uh, we have hospitals. We have healthcare. Uh, and then uh, there's nothing for rural, but we can say government and see if there's any rural entities. There's no rural. So I think we'll stop here. We'll remove this. We'll just say or. Okay, and we'll say that we need a layer extent, uh, full states, and Chhattisgarh. So I'm going to run this uh, just for Chhattisgarh, as I said, uh, and then go to the advanced. Uh, we may not need the uh, lines, nodes, and multi, multi polygons is good enough. Uh, and this will run throughout to see which ones we have. It's always good to run twice to see if there is multiple data sets. It will tell you that one layer has been added, which is the amenity hospitals. Uh, now I'm going to do is see if there is amenity hospitals, uh, run query, uh, no SM object selected, please select one. Uh, so we don't have the uh, object. So let's say node and multi polygons, uh, and then it is it is running on, on top of it. So mostly if you know the uh, point data, you can estimate the polygon by drawing around it in Google Earth. Uh, there's no result. So this also can happen. You'll have a successful query, but no result, which means that yes, you have created um, nodes. Uh, you, you may have nodes around the area, but for Chhattisgarh, it is not there. I will not be surprised for reasons that uh, it is a lot of forest, uh, forest area. So let us just click it down and you could see that a lot of Chhattisgarh around Chhattisgarh. It's like a tile. Okay? It's like a tile. The data has been there. Uh, we don't know how good the data is, uh, but we will surely find out by zooming in. Okay. So I'm going to uh, just use my, my pan. So you could see that these data would, would contribute to Chhattisgarh. Uh, we can mask or clip the data out. Uh, so that we can see what data is there. But as usual, uh, we could uh, plot it. So I am going to do the properties. So in the properties, which I didn't uh, explain in the previous uh, slide uh, for or the previous lecture, which is lecture uh, three, uh, we did schools. So in the schools, I did not go into the metadata, but uh, I thought I'll, I'll explain it here because it is the same for all. So in the properties, if you click, then it says source a lot of things, a lot of links for the source. Um, but more importantly, you have the extent, what type of data it is, um, and then the accuracy based uh, uh, at two meters, best accuracy, the uh, coordinate system is good. And this is the more thing. So the license is being given to OpenStreetMaps and the contributors. Uh, as I said, initially, uh, the access is free. 
Um, but it's good to cite these people because they have put a lot of time on creating these uh, data sets and map and also maintaining these servers. We can see that what are the uh, fields that are there and what type are there, all our strings, there's no numbers because it's just going to be named. Uh, if you want areas that we will do later, you will have that also. The source can also show you like what is the source that you had, um, it's, it's healthcare systems. Uh, and you can also have symbologies if you want to change. These are the locals, we can just close it. Uh, but if you go to the open attribute table, we'll have the uh, fields that we uh, have there. Uh, and spe specifically for our hospitals, there's different types of field names. Yeah, wheelchair, image, locality, uh, name, city, you are, uh, city, name, uh, geometry, contact address, uh, email, phone number, website is there for some people, some businessmen would like to have a website, what type of uh, health center is there, it is a, this is a primary uh, healthcare center, uh, PHCs, PSUs, they call for um, the uh, rural areas, and then there's a district hospital, uh, district main hospital, and then there's a government, non-government hospital, all these are government, nursing is private maybe, uh, and the state. So here we wanted more chat is there, not Odisha, Andhra. So these can be removed or uh, just I'll show you if I just click this and then say like this, uh, you have all the from upside down. I would expect more null to be there. So that's why I went down. So yeah, you have null little. So Andhra Pradesh is there and hopefully we'll jump into chat is there, yes. Uh, so I'm just going to click on this and then drag. Okay, sorry, click on the Chitta Chhattisgarh and then drag uh, so that you're highlighting um, uh, only the Chhattisgarh region. We can also build a query uh, for Chhattisgarh. Uh, I'm going to use control. You can also use shift to just select all of them. Let's go down to the end of Chhattisgarh and then hold on shift and then click. So now what has happened is we have selected all the Chhattisgarh. You can make a shape file out of it. Uh, and you can see that if I remove this, um, Clear selection for uh, let's remove this part. You can see that the Chhattisgarh selected is within the Chhattisgarh area, correct? So you can have uh, within the Chhattisgarh area, you have selected um, all the uh, layers, all the um, hospital locations within Chhattisgarh, which have Chhattisgarh. The others are errors, but they have somehow creeped into that because of the um, buffer region also, and maybe the locations when they specified somewhere they would have put Chattisgarh, the open source uh, contributors. Uh, it's okay. Uh, as I said, uh, there are some hospitals inside also which without Chattisgarh name, this could be the null ones where you can add the names. Uh, the best way to check it is by using remote sensing. So now we will export this as hospital data. Let's say export. Do you want all features or uh, selected features? I'm going to export all just just uh, so that we can see uh, where they are located, uh, and we're going to say Chattis where so smaller name ch underscore hospitals healthcare. Uh, you can also write OSM. OSM. No spaces in the names as GIS rules, use underscore uh, and no uh, special characters. Okay, you can save this and add, add the file, save file to, to the map uh, and you can remove the temporary file. This is the good thing about QGIS, it create, allows you to create a memory uh, in a temporary file uh, so that you don't waste uh, your folders and the space. If it doesn't work, if you don't like the data, you can just remove it, okay? So I can say, uh, yes, I want to remove the other one. We have this part. Now we will open our Google Earth again, and we are going to um, add, these are the previous ones of the 
schools. Uh, now we're going to add the hospitals from a different area. So open, we have OSM, we have CH, okay. Do you want to ingest the style? Let's do one, okay, let's say yes. I'll show you why this, this uh, won't be that, uh, you know. Do you want to use a single color, use random colors? You can say use random colors. Uh, icon, do you want uh, same icon or different icon? You can have different icons here. You can pick a hospital uh, for the icons. Uh, let's say there are multiple icons. You can always change it later. Uh, but um, yeah, let's put a yeah, house. We say all that. Yeah, you can have uh, this for a, normally a hotel, but we can just use it. And then height is, uh, you can just keep it as the same. Okay, so name is there, I can say okay. And you will see, do you want to save it? You can say save or cancel. Uh, it will start plotting it in Chhattisgarh. So moving from Trichy to the state of Chhattisgarh, uh, you will not see the boundaries yet because I have not uh, let the boundaries to come up. And now I click the boundaries borders, it has come up. Uh, again, go to view, make sure the tilt is okay, reset the tilt. And then click on this to see the hospitals. So beautifully, all the hospitals have been marked. Um, we can so one thing which comes out blatantly is this region where the most forested region are. There are very very less uh, number of hospitals, uh, and so we won't uh, be we would be needing more here because of the rural population and the rural um, livelihood options that they have here. They have better livelihoods and options. They do need uh, hospitals. So we can go here, a kind of a bigger city, uh, which has a lot of, uh, I'm just randomly selecting, there's nothing that um, we have in mind in terms of specific areas of interest. You can see that how the hospitals are being uh, mapped. Okay, so let's see if that hospital is correct. Um, we can just click on the um, field that was created. I've clicked on the bed and you can see it's a hospital node hospital address, Chhattisgarh, address, full address, and the name is Sri Krishna Hospital. Let's see, see it says Sri Krishna Hospital and vaccination. So there is there is a very good, um, you know, association between uh, the accuracy and the names when it comes to commercial places. Uh, I say commercial because these are uh, more into the realm of um, payment services, this is a vaccination center also, maybe during COVID, uh, they had uh, a good access to these kind of things. So you can see also another hospital here, it's Narayana, uh, Narayani, Narayani, Narayani Multispeciality Hospital. If you click on this, uh, the name is also Narayani. So these two are not same data. This is Google uh, Earth Pro data. So kind of an OSM data, but as I said, in rural regions, this is uh, not being updated. So which I will be showing now. So the city coverage is pretty good, which you can use, and uh, which is also needed for rural development because mostly they go to cities for uh, better access of hospitals. So let me uh, zoom uh, to the layer or zoom out. Okay. You can save this as a layer. Okay, just double click it will zoom out. Then go to view, reset the tilt. Okay. This area. Let's let's focus on the bottom part, uh, where, uh, as I said, uh, there is a need for more uh, hospitals um, uh, along the city boundaries and stuff. So if you zoom in, you could see that uh, here the names and borders may be uh, populating, uh, but yeah, this has not been populated. So which means this is Assist Shanti Bhavan, the name. Uh, it's a mission hospital uh, in Chhattisgarh, but there is no uh, data on Google Earth Pro, uh, which means that it has not been updated. So this data set, which we are using from OSM and mixing it with Google Earth Pro uh, is the best data set for now for Google, for the um, assessing the health uh, locations. So as we said, uh, there is a need for uh, more and more of this data to come up. Um, because um, if they are underrepresented and not being mapped, how do you map it? Now, so you are a researcher, you want to use remote sensing data for mapping, which is good. So you can actually use these um, OSM to update the data 
and put it into this network. So you can see here, uh, this city is a district hospital. So normally this district hospital would be mapped in Google Earth Pro. It gives you, say it's a big hospital. You can see it says district hospital, uh, Bijapur, Chhattisgarh, and that will be the same name here. It says just the name district hospital. Uh, but the city is Bijapur, right? So you could actually uh, get better of this data, update the OSM. So it's not only the Google Earth Pro data can be updated with OSM, the OSM data can also learn from um, mix and match. So your goal is to keep your GIS um, layer up to date uh, by collecting as much as information as possible. The local languages are there and other languages are there. You could add it. Good. So uh, I will also be happy to do one more um, round of uh, using <clears throat> the uh, road network because road network is very, very important, we said. Um, uh, and I'll show you how this is also important. So for example, we did the schools. Okay, let me go to Tamil Nadu schools again. Or Trichy schools. We'll go to Trichy schools because we'll, we'll be happy to... Yeah, so these are the uh, Trichy uh, government schools and the private schools that we map. Uh, and how do you know that a school is village, uh, rural uh, entry or not? Uh, if it is uh, mostly in the in these kind of areas where we have um, uh, a lot of uh, buildings, then that is a city. Uh, say it's an, in, a, in a very um, a verbal uh, encounter, we'll say, okay, it's a city or not. Uh, and this is a, a big school. Um, um, and then we can say it's about uh, Marcel RC Higher Secondary School. So it is not behind there. There's a lot of rural land, uh, but for sure it's on the highway. So it is a big um, city or on the way to the city. Uh, so the, like these visual uh, uh, stretches you could look at and then see if a school is government or aided, uh, those kind of things. So this is a big school. You can see it's definitely a school, Holy Cross, Girls Higher Secondary School. Um, and this is kind of a government uh, aided school. So you could see that there's railway quarters. Um, and that is why it's, it's a very um, housing housing area. Um, what, what is good here is you can draw a buffer, okay? So for example, you need to know how many houses are around so that they can walk or commute to the schools. That can be done using uh, your Google Earth Pro or create buffers in your uh, panel. I'll show both. So first here, let's say that you need to do a path, uh, assessment of path. You can say circle, okay? So I did the, the scale and then I went to circle uh, and then wherever you click, uh, it will go abroad. Okay, so like this. So let's say I want uh, uh, 200, 300 kilometers. Uh, okay, one kilometer is is kind of too big. Okay, so this is uh, around 500, one, one kilometer is this big. Uh, you can see how many schools are covered for houses in this region, uh, but you can make it small because uh, one kilometer of travel would take some time for them. So let's say 200 meters. Within 200 meters, uh, where can we have schools? So you can just bring it down and then zoom in to see if uh, we are on the ballpark. Uh, you can also give 200. Okay, so 200 approximately. So within this, you can see that the housings are very uh, low in number. Uh, and this kind of buffering is needed for school locations and having access to school, like in terms of roads, networks, uh, buses for rural regions and stuff. And also the government, in most parts have ban on certain type of shops in these kind of radiuses. Like you cannot sell uh, illicit liquor and other things uh, near a school. So there is a radius. So this is how the radius is calculated. You have the location of the school and then you make a circle of radius. So within this, uh, it is more important. Why we are concerned is we would like to see if these are uh, more into the uh, housings. And are the housings being uh, located within this area? and other housing center. Okay, so this is one way of doing it. You can actually put a point and then uh, blow the blow it up uh, and then see if the uh, schools are coming up. Uh, we'll also see um, Trichy's, uh, Trichy uh, schools or, or Tamil Nadu schools polygon. Okay. You could see that number of polygons are very less because not a lot of these polygons uh, are going to be um, uh, mapped. Uh, you can see that um, careful drawing is not done 
uh, for most of the part. So you could see uh, this one. Okay. So if I remove or, or make this polygon, it says uh, SB, IOA, matriculation and high secondary school. Uh, you can see most of the city here, uh, only some part of the village um, uh, you can see here. So it's not that big. And also this one is St. George High Secondary School. It is not mapped in OSM. So you can actually update the OSM. As I said, my uh, village school is not also mapped uh, and people can map this and provide data um, with this. Uh, 2000 plus students are enrolled in this uh, NPTEL course. Think about all 2000 contributing at least 10 schools uh, for wherever they are from. Okay, so across India, students are attending this course. Uh, I hope and I, I aim that all these students do contribute to uh, mapping schools uh, because that will be a really, really good database. So uh, there is a database on paper. Okay, with geolocations, correct geolocations and area, maybe it's not there. So this kind of uh, mapping, uh, you could actually do and provide uh, the policy makers uh, for rural development and infrastructure development. Without knowing the size, the status of the schools, uh, we cannot have much uh, benefit. Let's, let's give an example. We may be able to take a smaller school um, just for the sake of an example. Uh, yeah, so this is technically along uh, rural areas. So all these are agricultural land, you could say. Uh, and I am going to uh, make the color a little bit, uh, go to the properties, uh, style color. You can uh, make it opacity is 100%. Let's do 50%. So now you could see that uh, Amrita Vidyalayam Chuchi is the school. Uh, it looks like a boarding school with a big campus. Uh, badminton court, but along a village, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, entity. Uh, and then there is a Urachi Ondrium, which is kind of like a village uh, region. Um, Mahakaliam and Koil is there. So it, it, it does look like a village because of this agricultural land, I'm saying. So most of this agricultural land is there. Uh, all these are uh, water bodies. Um, and then um, you do have a lot of temples uh, around. So uh, houses are also not very close, which is like urban centers. So these could be a um, definitely uh, more of a rural entity, okay? <clears throat> I don't know why this uh, motor school is also labeled as a school. We can see the properties just to say, oh, it's St. Francis School, uh, and then there's an archery. So maybe the boarding schools normally would have uh, bought an area outside because it's uh, lesser costly and then do it okay so let's this is the other thing i wanted to show that you can do a time series analysis uh, and to just see like how the school was developed or what was there before the school so here right here you could see that all of this was agricultural land uh, these are agricultural um, land that can happen and uh, before the school there was pure agriculture happening uh, you can see that all of this is agriculture but then they uh, bought these plots and you can see exactly that maybe these plots were from a particular owner these plots were from a particular owner so they merged these plots together to buy the land um, and then the school has been built okay so in 2002 the school was not there uh, and uh, again land use land cover change we say 2007 the school was not there um, and then slowly the school construction will happen 2010 uh, you can see that uh, land is being cleared uh, and still some agriculture is happening here, uh, but slowly as the school is, is developing and, and uh, the land is developing, you can see that uh, it is being uh, occupied for the school premises. Okay. Yeah. So this is one of the reasons where you could have a better use of GIS and remote sensing to look at a particular school, how it has evolved, and most importantly, what is the coverage? How many uh, villages that does it cover uh, and is it uh, good for, uh, you know, uh, covering the entire uh, region for, for school kids? Okay, so this is also kind of a rural entity with less number of housings. Uh, I'm going to push it to the uh, current. Uh, so it says uh, Kaveri Global Senior Secondaries. When it says global, it's not government. Uh, so it could be uh, another private institute. So looks like uh, a lot of these uh, schools have uh, done uh, well in uh, uh, in terms of having um, you know international names and or uh, having a big campus uh, for a for for the uh, more targeted to the populations 
of urban and uh, so, so Bishop Heber is there. Uh, it was a very, very famous uh, school um, and a lot of people from the villages do commute here. Okay, so we do have this. Uh, so I'll, I'll stop with the school part here. We'll quickly run the uh, roads for uh, Tamil Nadu again, uh, or at least at Trichy, and we'll overlay it here to show how these are connected to the schools. So I'll keep the TN schools uh, and the uh, TN uh, government uh, schools uh, dots here. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we'll go back to Google Earth, open our vector plugin, click OSM. And then we'll say roads, let's say what comes up. Road, just say roads, it'll be there. Um, it will be highways, streets, uh, relations, routes, roads type, uh, unknown type is there, good. Uh, and then you can add, you can say some other uh, road type. Let's say bicycle road is important for, um, you know, uh, the um, small pathways for uh, mostly Europe, but here also small pathways are called um, bicycle roads, minor roads we want. Uh, unclassified is good, we'll add it. And then we'll also, okay, when we do the preset again and again, it will uh, it will override it. So let's see if we could add a road. Yeah, so we've added one, one more, or so type is root, type is root road. Uh, and then I'm going to do amenities and is not there. We'll do an R amenity and then say road. Highway, government. No. So we say road. Yeah, maybe. So we do have um, uh, small roads and small uh, things in type. So maybe we can say type. Okay, type and then road. Road is already there, it won't come. Uh, highway, uh, rural. So for, for some reason, all the rural, rural types are taken out, um, but it's good. Uh, I think we already had this as a query. Uh, we do have uh, schools, healthcare, we have done. Um, then yeah, it's fine. Okay, so this, this should be okay. So type is root, type is road. Uh, we could have uh, someone as highway also, just, just for case. And then uh, what are the values in highway? You have bus stops, construction, cycleways, emergency ways, footways. Uh, so in, in, in these uh, uh, things, we have um, links, roads, let's keep it as roads. So we have R, R, R. And then, as I said, we'll do a layer extent of um, Trichy, okay? And let's run and come down to say that in advance, I need lines, okay? Not nodes, I don't want nodes, I don't want polygons. We'll just see if lines are available because roads is a line or, or a pathway. I've run for other uh, places just as a backup uh, because um, as I said, the uh, quick OSM has just been updated. Yes, good thing we have run it. So successfully one layer has been added. This is a merged layer of all the three searches we have. So all the three will be there, but as a merged uh, layer. So let's zoom into that layer. And you could see that um, it has been zoomed in, but I don't see the lines. Maybe we will say the, oh yeah, there it is. Oops. You see that? So these are the roots. For some reason, the color and the symbology is too thin. So we'll go to simple, maybe stroke is two, uh, and then the color can be black because we do have a lot of apply. Okay. Uh, properties. So two, point five, point five is good. Okay, apply. Okay, that is good. And now if I put Tamil Nadu, you can see more. Uh, okay, so this is only Trichy, right? So we said only Trichy, and it is certainly not Trichy alone, but um, some parts of Trichy. So uh, it is in and around Trichy. Uh, it is not capturing the rural roads. So this is where I said um, infrastructure and road mapping is very, very key. Uh, we do need to have it. So I've, I've also added, um, I've done an exercise on uh, roads. 
Okay, so I'll, I'll just add it. And then um, this is uh, particularly for a uh, thing that we did initially, highways and stuff. Uh, you can zoom into that layer, which is uh, we we if you remember we did this for a particular uh, place in uh, Maharashtra um, uh, and Karnataka part where we did a, a geo reference and image, and then we extracted the data. Okay. So like that also you can add the data. This is from that lecture where we georeferenced uh, tile and then extracted the road network. Uh, but we can also take highways and other, other aspects uh, as and when we did, right? So there, you also have wells and tanks that I have I've done, which uh, is water bodies. So someone was asking for surface roads and water bodies, which we will be looking at. So for now, as I said, we can, select this road type, move it to uh, export, save feature as, go to OSM, my folder, and then say maybe fetching roads, no space, shape file, add it to the shape file, remove uh, these layers, you don't want these layers, and then the Trichy roads, right? We can also okay. zoom to layer. Yeah, we do have this. It's a good thing we'll open in Google Earth Pro. File, open. Which roads? Open. You want to use it? I just say no. Again, view, reset, tilt. And there we have it. So I'm just going to open this so that you can see the individual uh, polygons, polylines. Let's click on one. Yes. Image has a lot of clouds. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll remove this so that the best lines come up. You could see how beautifully, uh, and this is a village area, uh, right? So you have this road, uh, three among two wheelers, this is a highway, uh, and there is a road through the village. I'm saying village because of the agricultural lands. You see the land divided uh, into parcels. Uh, it is not accurate. Uh, however, it's beautifully there because it goes through the system uh, and it is actually dividing uh, even to the small lake and pond, they have a road. So someone has actually meticulously driven a bike or something. So you can actually uh, do it as a bike uh, layer. You can um, uh, click on a, a waste point and then click, 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 or a path uh, on an app and then collect the data. Again, there's multiple videos on how to collect uh, waypoints. Uh, once you collect the waypoints, you can export it here uh, into OSM. Uh, and then there is a beautiful layer. If you can see clear, clearly, these are not these are not uh, your uh, average uh, um, uh, roads that are laid with track. These are mud roads or non uh, non mat roads, but these are very important, right? I'll show you why. Uh, because when you go here, I see for this part. So this farmer is growing this land. Uh, I hope he is growing. We can definitely look at the images uh, in the past to see. Oh uh, yeah, there it is. So if we can find a growing season, yes, it is green. Uh, definitely there is growing something. Uh, this is a summer period, uh, post-summer, uh, not a lot of rainfall, don't have crops. Yes, so you can see the rows, the rows and all cut. So that is a cropping. So now if the farmer is uh, having a small crop, and in this image we had better view uh, of these crops, right? So there is a crop. Now the farmer has to harvest it and send it to the market. Uh, and the market, everything is dependent on this road connectivity. So the good thing here is from here, we can quickly estimate the time to go to the highway and which is the best route. So from here, you can say uh, this will this will take around line and path. Uh, yeah. So from this plot, you can say through the highway, if the, if the roads are connected, you can go through uh, 600 meters. Or if you say, uh, I'm going to clear and then say from this to this straight road is three 400 meters. However, it is not straight. You will have to go through a path. I'll show you why, because it's not connected. So now you have to use a road and say, okay, from here to here, there's a road. Uh, and then from here, you have to take this road, this road, this road, and then go to, it says, 
Maligai, and that gives you 600, 508 meters, 100 meters extra, but you need to incorporate all this on the travels, the budgets, the time. Um, if you know and been in villages, you'll know that uh, how fast you get the produce to the uh, market, the price is different, especially flowers. Uh, I've been uh, taking flowers when I was a kid. Uh, so when we take flowers in the village, uh, quickly they'll ask us to collect the flowers and give it in a bag. Uh, and the bag is being transported to the market. Uh, so early, early market price, let's say a kilo is 200 rupees, the flower. Uh, as time goes up, the same kilo of flour goes to 100 rupees. Uh, so you are, the farmer is at big loss. Uh, he'll take around 10 kilos a day uh, and all the loss is there. So this is how the connectivity does keep a very, very important aspect for rural development and livelihood. And more on that, the profit margin uh, is changing. The second aspect I also wanted to say is uh, if the produce is quick. So this is just a small thing, uh, a road that is uh, connected very near, very near, 600 meters to the highway. But think about a lot of other options where uh, the cropping is here, for example, here. And the road network is not there. So they have to go through the mud roads uh, and then go to the highway. It takes more time. Let's say it takes two hours to get to the highway. And from there it goes. So all throughout this, the crop, let's say a fruit, uh, like uh, kiwis or other things that, uh, okay, let's say smaller fruits that everyone uses, so let's say tomatoes. So tomatoes may get damaged and the damage is a loss for the farmers. So this is where uh, if the road network is not there, rural network connectivity for the farm is not there, there's a loss in, in time and, and uh, livelihood options. So with this, I will stop here. We, today we have looked at uh, hospitals, uh, healthcare and roads. Uh, we can also look at how the, the same analogy can be used for how the hospital is connected. Uh, but for now, most of the hospitals are in the city, uh, in the OSM database. Uh, I hope to see more data being populated, especially after this class, uh, on the hospitals uh, in rural villages. I'll see you in the next class with more on crop mapping and agriculture. And then we will call OSM uh, over by week 11. Thank you. Thank you.